This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of undertaking a vital pulpotomy on a traumatized permanent anterior tooth. On the screen, you can see a selection of materials and instruments that you may find useful in undertaking this procedure. For this exercise, we are assuming that the upper right central incisor has sustained an enamel dentine pulp fracture at the distal incisal corner. Place rubber dam and use rubber wedging material to isolate this tooth. Use a round diamond burr in a high speed air rotor handpiece with water spray to amputate the pulp. This will usually be within the range of 2 to 4 millimeters. The exact amount of pulpal tissue to be removed will be governed by the extent of inflammation and depth of bacterial infiltration. Pulpal tissue should be removed until you observe a healthy bleeding response. Arrest the bleeding using a cotton wool pledget soaked in sterile water. Local anaesthetic can be used as an alternative to sterile water. Once you are happy that you have achieved hemostasis, dress the exposed pulpal surface with calcium hydroxide. Cover the calcium hydroxide with a resin modified glass ionomer. This functions as a lining in preparation to receive a composite restoration immediately afterwards. Care should be taken to minimize the surface area covered by the glass ionomer. Ensure that it is limited to the denting. This will allow a larger bonding area for the composite restoration. The definitive restoration of the incisor will be covered in other sections of this course. The next video in this series will demonstrate how to place a composite bandage.